Brad Lehman specialized home services. Uh, one of the specialties that I do is friendly shower doors. Uh, this particular shower door is a good example uh, to discuss a few uh, issues uh, when considering a friendly shower door. In particular, this shower, when I first walked in, has lots of body jets and the uh, shower heads up above. Uh, with a lot of shower enclosures, there's a lot of spray, and unfortunately, friendless shower doors are not watertight. Uh, some can have a little bit of leakage. Um, in this situation, I, I recommend using polycarbonate seals, and in a lot of cases, uh, people do not want uh, the extra seals on the shower because they want to make sure that aesthetically, the shower looks, looks its best. However, polycarbonate seals really don't look bad at all on a shower enclosure. In this case, I'll be using one where the door and the panel come together. This door will be located on this side of the shower, and the panel will be fixed right here. This one will be done without a header, uh, which will be fine. I'll do a sleeve over to uh, uh, secure this panel and silicone it in place. And on this side, the door will be hinged on the wall into some studs. There's wood back behind here, which is the best installation. Uh, and along where the door meets the panel, uh, I'll have this polycarbonate seal to prevent water from coming out. And then on this side, I'll use either a double fin or some type of compression seal. Uh, there's a lot of options when it comes to that. But when you are considering a friendly shower door, you have to consider uh, your situation. Is the shower inside real tight where water is going to be splashed onto the door? And was the showering uh, enclosure uh, curved and everything tilted right so that the water flows in like it should? Uh, in so many cases, shower curbs flow the wrong way and then I have to either alter the situation and put a little tiny uh, threshold down here and some extra uh, sweeps on the door to prevent water from leaking. Uh, so when you're considering a frameless shower door, uh, I'll be happy to come out, consult with your situation and go over uh, the particular uh, issues you may have and discuss all the options. My name is Brad Lehman. I'm with Specialized uh, Home Services. Um, and again, Framless Shower Doors is my specialty. Uh, you can reach me at 678 477 1389. Thank you. This is Brad again with Specialized Home Services. And now we have completed or near completed product. Uh, we have set the panel in place and put the door in place. And uh, as you notice, it may be. The door is slightly askew, and the reason why is because in this case we're going to be putting this seal in place and uh, preventing water leakage. Normally, my doors will have a very narrow gap between the door and the panel, but in this case, I've left extra space for the polycarbonate seal that will slip on this edge. But with the five degree offset hinge, hinge in this, uh, the door has a tendency to want to shut further than the panel, which is what I want, so that it'll press up against this nice vinyl seal right here. And then uh, we have a choice of seals for the edge. I like to use compression seal, but there's others like a double fin and a bolt seal. And the compression seal, I think, does a better job if it's a door that doesn't swing both directions and only swings out. Um, in just a few minutes, I'll be able to show you the complete product. Thank you. This is Brad once again, and uh, I just wanted to show you how this uh, polycarbonate seal now in place looks. And um, it's very clear. It doesn't look bad at all. And the nice thing is this nice flexible seal right here presses firmly against the glass, or should I say the door presses firmly against the seal, and it will prevent uh, water leakage. Um, so. That's one of the considerations when I look at a project that I take into account are what are the situations that, that we're dealing with and how best can we resolve it. Are the, uh, the walls slightly askew and the hinges need to 
have some compensation, comp compensation to make it fit better. Um, also, I use uh, uh, other products that are superior, such as a milky resi resistant silicone. Um, and uh, choices of different kinds of hardware. Uh, most people use a product either from a C.R. Lawrence or Alumax, and I have those products as well as others, uh, including a Portals product that I believe is a premium product uh, that uh, I like to offer my customers as well. Again, this is Brad Lehman, Specialized Home Services. I look forward to uh, helping you with your project. Thank you.